Hello all you beautiful squiggly fricks and geeks, savages and iguanas out there on the worldwide interwebs. That voice in your head is Original Yank welcoming you to my super spongy 7 days to die let's play. Happy New Year, we are met, we have begun people. Okay, so this is day 1 of the regular shooting schedule, this will be Monday the 8th, I hope you're having a fine day, I hope it's just, it's an amazing day for you. Today is going to be Le Grande Mining Day. Oh, what, Yangster? Are you going to make me sit through? No. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I Now, having said that, do we have much of anything to update? Not really, because we can't go work on the base. It's just a pain in the butt. It's nighttime. Zeds are running at us. It's no good. So what we're going to do is... We're going to go over to where the uh, Day 42 Horde base was, and we're going to see if we can't get some resources, because I remember when I was frenetically, frenetically, frantically digging um, underneath that uh, miniature Horde base we made for Horde Night, I found some iron, struck a little bit of gold there, a little bit of uh, bronze colored gold, brown gold, no, no, wait, brown gold, no. I don't know. I don't know. Never know what I'm doing. Half the time, Yangster doesn't know what he's doing. All right. So uh, also, we're kind of hooked up on stream, guys. We're streaming. Uh, there's there's streaming madness now. All right. If you take a look uh, over on Twitch. Oh, we're not hungry. Okay. Suit yourself. Take a look over on Twitch. Uh, the Yangster has infiltrated Twitch. I uh, now have a stream series going where the settings are always run, warrior difficulty, and no airdrops. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be a good day, Tater. Uh, that's the primary service I'm going to be using, right, while streaming. I love YouTube. I love streaming on YouTube. There's a higher bit rate. It looks more awesome. The settings are more manual. It's a good thing. I want to give Twitch a chance. I want to give it a try. I want to give it a shot. It seems like a really cool service. There's a really cool community of people. Uh, the Seven Days to Die community over there. So I'm going to give it a, ch a shot. I'm not going to stop uh, streaming on YouTube. N know this. The Yangster is not going to abandon his channel. He's not going to not stream or make videos on YouTube. I just think that my primary stream is going to come from Twitch. Now, having said that... Um, did a really awesome live stream the other day with, uh, with Grandmaster Payne. And we, uh, we streamed for a couple hours. Uh, did a little bit of grinding, a little bit of work. Uh, Grandmaster Payne is my brother, IRL, the Yangster's real-life brother. Um, and yeah, we did, a, we did a stream. This is the hole we got stuck in on Horde Night. I'm having flashbacks. Wait, wait, wait. Too loud. It's too loud. There we go. Having flashbacks to Horde Knight. The awful, awful situation that was Horde Knight. Alright, let's see where we can find some of the, uh, some of this iron. This iron. Let's turn, might as well just turn this way down, really, because we're down in a hole. Ah, there it is. See? Boom. Immediately. Now, what is the rule? Do not dig directly above you, right? Don't do it, people. I'm telling you, not unless it's an emergency. Because you could get in some, especially here, because we're not really down very deep. We're only like, what, seven or eight blocks, maybe deep? Maybe 10 at most. So you could really get into some trouble if you uh, dig straight above you in this game. Was that all the iron? That couldn't possibly have been all the iron. Come on, man. Give us some more. We want more iron. 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 Oh, there it is. We're level 96. That's amazing. That's a beautiful thing, Pips. It's a beautiful thing. Let's check our game stage while we're at it. Game stage. Ooh, 432. We're about to... Uh, Nail that, uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say half century, but that's in snooker. That's 50. That's not 500. Half millennial? Uh, yeah. Our half millennial game stage. Beautiful. Which it was, uh, you know, it was amply symbolized by cops showing up 
at the Horde base's door <laughs> during Horde Night, during the last Horde Night. It was amazing. It was great. It was beautiful. Uh, didn't think I was going to pull through on that one. We had pieces of... That was just a trick. Did you see that? How that was just a trick? We had pieces of... Uh, our, the base, see, 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 pieces of the base literally were not dry. There was still wet concrete when the horde hit. It was amazing in the worst possible way. Let's really get in here, right by the right elbow here. If you're claustrophobic, I can, if you're claustrophobic, I can imagine this being a nightmare, actually, to be honest. Um, down in a itty bitty teeny weeny hole. There we go. Digging out with a machine that that uh, digging with a machine that makes you uh, makes an insane amount of noise in a really small confined space must be a nightmare for a claustrophobic. The angster is not claustrophobic, so it's all good. It's all good. Oh, we're getting iron, people. Yes, 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 yes. Dig up some gravel. Let's get rid of that gravel while we're at it. Come on, iron. Give it to me. Give it to me. Sock it to me. Sock it to me. Is that a joke? I feel that that's a joke. I think maybe it's a reference to a sort of racist joke. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't say it. Maybe I shouldn't say it. Sometimes you, you say something and you're like, should I have said that? That's where the angst is at this point. <laughs> But you know what? Oh, oh, collapse. But the collapse revealed more iron. So it was a good collapse. Yes. This is a beautiful thing. Guys, see? And it's going to collapse. Yeah, but it, but it, just as long as you can control the collapse, it's cool. I think, are we? Are we? Yeah, we're getting pretty close to underneath the base. So that's where it starts getting fun because if uh, we actually put weight on top of this, right? Technically, we put weight on top of the things we're digging out now. So we might have a massive insano collapse go down. Um, it's, it's not going to be fun. It's not going to be pretty. But you'll probably enjoy watching it happen. Because you know what? Original Yank, we'll do it for you. I'll do it for you. What is that? Oh, we, uh, we, do we, do we, do we, do we, do we, we came full circle. I get all turned around in these, uh, in these mines. This isn't like Minecraft where you can kind of strip mine. I mean, you can, but there's no reason to because in this game, it's really important to follow the nodes, guys. Just follow the nodes, all right? Can you hear me okay? Can you hear me? Yankster can't hear himself. It's probably because I'm half deaf. Deaf? Really? Deaf. Um, yeah, just try to follow the nodes. Strip mining is not as lucrative, really, here as it is in... You know, other mining games, especially, I'm using Minecraft for reference because, it, to me, Minecraft is the mining game. It, I mean, it's probably that to a lot of people. It is the mining game. That's why it's called Minecraft. You mine and you craft, right? Um, because you see how there are nodes? This, this gravel here signifies... You can see that, right? What happens is when I dig up this gravel, see how it gives me some stone, some sand, and an iron? Right? That's the resource I'm going to find if I follow the gravel. Now you're going to get, in other spots, you'll get gravel. I mean, you'll get uh, stone, sand, and lead. That will lead you to a lead node, right? Um, in yet other spots, there will be sand, stone, and coal. And guess where that'll lead you? You are absolutely right. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. It will lead you to coal. Etc., etc., etc. So yeah, it's a kind of a cool system. Try to dig that little little node out there. Just dig it out. All right, collapse, collapse, massive collapse. Is it bugging you that I'm that, that the youngsters calling it collapse? I'm not sure why. Ah, oh, you see. Okay, there's the base. This is gonna be fun. Something's gonna go horribly wrong here, guys. Oh, it's okay. We already have four stacks of iron, so that's cool. We can go over to, um, we'll take a ride over to the, uh, to the desert biome and, uh, oh, nope, that's dirt. We don't want that. We'll take a ride over to the desert biome and dig out some sand and get some shale and some stuff. Because we had, there was all kinds of different resources down there, wasn't there? There was, uh, if, am I remembering correct? 
if I'm remembering that we had like lead, oil shale, and iron down there. Or was it? I don't remember. We'll see. We'll find it. We'll find it. We will go find it after I've gotten rid of this. No, a little more. Just a little more. A little more. Promise. After this one, I promise. After this one, I promise. All right, we're good. Let's get out of here. Let's bounce. Except for that one, though. That one little node there we got to get. Nice. All right, we got it. Let's... How... How do we get out of here? Ah, let's see. How did we get in here? Now we'll just use this exit, I guess. Into the... Is that, is that not the exit into the base? I think that's the exit that leads into the actual base. Base. Wherefore base. Nice. So how was New Year's Eve for people? I haven't even asked that. I've streamed, I've made videos, all kinds of stuff since. How was, how the hell was your New Year's Eve? Did you have a nice one? Was it fun? Did you not blow yourself up? Please tell me you didn't because that is just really sad when those things happen. Let the youngster know. I'm here for you. You hear me? I'm here for you. Yeah, man, on that other stream uh, series, is it's, it's so much fun. I only made it today one. I already got murked, of course, because uh, Zeds were just coming at me like at 90 miles an hour, man. It was so much fun. That, uh, let's turn on NVGs. Zeds were just running at me from like the first second. It was amazing. Um, got murked by a cheerleader. Uh, but, you know, found a POI and hunkered down inside it. So that's going to be a fun stream. It's going to be a fun stream. I think I'm playing with the idea of I'm watching some other guys on Twitch. Uh, do they have different mods like Ravenhurst, Starvation mod is pretty good. War of the Walkers, KJ48 does a lot of War of the Walkers. Um, Games for Kicks is awesome when it comes to Starvation. I don't know why. <laughs> Did you see me look to the left and look to the right there as if there was another car who was going to show up? Yeah. Always. During the zombie apocalypse, squiggly army. Always look both ways before you cross the street. It's the little things that are going to kill you, peeps. It's the little things that are going to kill you. Those little things are going to kill you. Yeah, so it's, it's interesting. New schedule. Um, might do Wednesday night streams, so that could be a thing. Now, uh, just stay tuned and see how that works out, because I think I'm going to do Wednesday night streams um, and maybe Sunday night streams, uh, just to, for starters, just to, you know, get my feet wet, get the squiggly army up and running with the timing. Uh, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. Still working on it, guys. Still working on it, because, you know, I'm not a full-time dude. When it comes to this, right? I have other jobs in this life um, as well. And want to make it all fit. Want to get it all in. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are, I never know what you're doing, buzzard. And the buzzards, they fly overhead. Venomous snakes will devour us whole. And our bones will bleach in the middle of the night. Come on, man. There he goes. Bye. Best way, man. Best way. Oh, 57 feathers. That's two more than Schwift 5. If you had Schwift 5 feathers and you gave yourself two more, you would have Schwift 5. Why am I taking down my uh, my pillar? My, uh, You know what it is in Norwegian. Vordmin. Vorde. On a lager, say Vorde. Let's see. There we go. Let's get in the hole, man. Youngster in the hole. All right, let's turn off this ridiculously bright green light. See, is this is this is this a thing? What is this stuff? Ah, it's just gravel. NBMs. Keep going, keep going, youngster. Keep going. Down, down, down into the deepness of the mine. We should probably try to see if we can find another node. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I mean, Jelly Bean? See if we can find another node to mess around in. Uh, what's happening? Oh, I can't run because I only have like... Well, we could probably, you know, we'll do this right here. If we open this up a little bit, it'll give us some sand. And it shall also give us 
a little bit of headspace, a little bit of headroom. There we go. Ah, uh, the big giant. Look at this. It's all just ripe for the picking. The auger is at the level of get on my level auger. So beautiful. So beautiful. So zen. So zen. Uh, nice. I, I'm, you know, let me be honest with you guys. Let me be completely honest with you guys. I am in love with Seven Days to Die. Have been. Alpha 16 has become the thing. Played Alpha 15. Uh, was like, man, okay, let's play other games. But Seven Days to Die, guys, it just, it just got me. It just got me. All right, this is my third or fourth playthrough. Um, if it's not my fifth, actually, something like that on this alpha. And I just love it. Just love it so much. The oil shell. 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 Do, 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 Shell. Do, 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 do. That's the song now. Uh, you know, um, excited about Dragon Age Origins. It's gonna be, it's a fun game to play. I like that game too. And it's also good for getting my feet wet, uh, in regards to these, um, more turn-based games, uh, that I really never honestly got into. I love live action games. Live action games are, uh, definitely the way to be. The only exception, and let me know how you feel about this, because I may or may not start playing it at some point very, very soon, just because I miss it. Let me know about this. Um... Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. Does anyone remember? Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2, where you could like build your own lightsaber and it was all, the, the graphics were all blocky and choppy. Does, is, is anybody feeling me on that one? And I'm wondering, like looking at these newer games, Star Wars, like Battlefront and stuff like that, I'm thinking, whoa, maybe, maybe not. What do you think? What do you think? Dudes, dudettes and dudinos, you know, should we give it a try? Do like a, a Star Wars thing, because I I miss those actually. That's the only turn-based game that I ever really got into. Knights of the Old Republic back in the day on the uh, crud. What was it on the Xbox? I guess it was the Xbox. Yeah, original Xbox or 360. One of those two. And um, it was it was so much fun. So you know that's uh, another one of the games. And I'm saying Dragon Age Origins is really working for for. Uh, for me when it comes to getting my feet wet on the turn-based games again. Um, you know, I'm not going to hide the fact that I do love, love me some turn-based Star Wars. Do love me some turn-based Star Wars. All right, nice. Beautiful, beautiful squiggly pips and geeks. Yeah, I'm just so happy to be back in the routine. Guys, back in the routine. Christmas was amazing. New Year's was amazing. Um, Mini Yangster had his first Christmas where he was actually aware of what was going on and it was probably the best feeling in the world. Uh, best thing ever. Just saying. Now, let me think about this for a minute, guys. What do we have? Not so much. Well, we do have so much. We have some dirt, which we don't need. How, where do we get that nitrate from? See, this is just the mine of magic. It has everything. Was it on this... Let's play. I think maybe I got to check my mini bike when I come back, uh, get back up on the surface, because I think it was this let's play where I was mining t like just a humongous hole like this. And I found a, like a diamond silver deposit. Never found that before. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And I'm going to say this. Uh, the mathematics has been taken out of my building now that I have an auger. Last a couple of let's plays when I when I kind of you know didn't do the auger game, uh, play the trader game and do the auger deal. I was mining with a pickaxe and it started to get you know as you get up in the levels it kind of gets quick you you know you you one hit uh, you know sand and, and stuff with your shovel and then one or two strikes with the pickaxe and you're done you're through like uh, regular stone two or three hits and you're through the uh, iron deposits and stuff like that so it, it does go quite quick after a while. That's why I really never focus much on the auger, but it also made me have to calculate my building a lot more. Like I had to do math to think, hmm, how much concrete do I need exactly to do this? How much iron do I need to make rebar? To, you know what I'm saying? So now that I have the auger though, I feel that this is a lot more haphazardous and I'm not as, uh, look at that, two levels underground guys. Haven't even, haven't even seen a Zed for the entire episode, two levels. This auger, man, if I could put this thing next to me in bed, 
Uh, we're going to do that when we get back to the trailer, man. When I go to sleep, I'm just going to put this auger right next to me in bed. Uh, the youngster and his auger. And what do we have? We have everything. We have pretty much all the things we need. Uh, we do need more, but we, you know what we need, do need to get serious about, guys? We need to get serious about nitrate, and uh, we need to get serious about lead. We need to find us a good deposit of nitrate and a good deposit of lead. Because uh, as soon as that shotgun turret trap goes up in the arena, we're going to be pumping out. I think I even broke my mic a little by saying pumping out shotgun shells. Uh, like it's nobody's business. There goes a the timer. Oh, you beautiful squiggly fricks and geeks. That's 20 minutes on the clock. Shooting the poo and mining with original yank. I really hope you had a nice, zen, relaxing, enjoyable experience uh, along with me on this journey. I will see you again in the next episode. I promise you we will not be mining anymore in the next episode. <laughs> We're done. We'll be done mining uh, in the next episode. Alrighty, everybody, stay squiggly. Take it nice and easy. Original Yank signing off. Adios.